This is a company's debt to assets ratio, and this number could be the difference between striking gold or losing it all when it comes to investing in the stock market. Understanding a company's financial stability is key, and the debt to assets ratio is your guide for you to be able to do that. Stay with us as we break down what this ratio means and how it can influence your investment decisions. And what secrets does this ratio reveal about a company's future? Let's find out together. So what exactly is the debt to assets ratio? This is a metric that compares a company's total debt with its total assets. To calculate this number, you take the total debts and divide that number by the total assets of a company. Let's calculate this number for Microsoft. We can get the financial statements like this, so that way we can perform the calculation. We can see that for 2023, the total debt is listed right right here while the total assets you can sum all of the numbers right here or you can simply use the total assets number found here so we take the total debt of the company and then divide this number by the total assets of this company and then we can turn this number into a percentage and we see that we get roughly 14.56 percent as the answer lower numbers are considered more safe because it means that the company has more assets assets to cover its debt or its liabilities. And of course, the opposite applies. Different companies have different debt to assets ratios. So for example, this tech companies that we can see right here have very different debt to asset ratios than companies in let's say manufacturing. So to know whether a ratio is good for a particular company like Microsoft, it is important and very helpful to be able to compare them with companies that are in a similar industry. Altogether, the debt to asset ratio isn't just a number to calculate, but rather a lens to view a company's level of financial leverage and its risk. Armed with this knowledge, you can make better investment decisions. Understand the numbers and you understand the game. Are you ready to become a more savvy stock investor? Hit that subscribe button and the like button and let me know in the comments below what financial metric you would like me to decode next.